If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome to The Retro Show. I'm Mike, and we're going to be looking at new hacks for your Atari 2600. If you're stumbling upon my channel and wondering what's going on, I mostly do homebrew games, hacks, and game modifications for retro systems. But anyway, you're more interested in new hacks for your Atari 2600? So stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. This is Carnival. Uh, it's uh, basically the hack is called Atari Shot Remix, which is a hack of Carnival from Coleco for the Atari 2600. So let's give it a try. So the characters here are from other Atari games and you're shooting. So I don't know why, but the Mario looks like he's in a wheelchair. I'm just saying. Why does it look like? Maybe that's the... Trying to make it look like the icon? I don't know why. But whatever, it's cute. And then there's the things from... Um, the dragons from Adventure. The ghost from Pac-Man. And all that good jazz. Come on. Boing, boink, boink. Too bad there wasn't any music. I don't know if they, they just ran out of memory or... Because it is hard. Uh oh Better get some points. Uh, uh, game over. I'm game over. No, I don't want player. I want... Let's try this a little better. It doesn't feel better. Like the music makes the game sometimes. It adds, uh, I guess, a better experience. You know that 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 music? A bullet eaten duck? If you remember the commercial. <laughs> A bullet eating duck? I guess Mario, if you shoot him, he gives you more bullets. That makes sense. Come on, there we go. Any more? Yeah, I, I, that was like my last, oh, oh. I think Carnival for the ColecoVision was my last ColecoVision game I picked up. Uh, anyway, so let's move on. So the next one is called uh, Defender Vector. I noticed that it's a little bit flashy, but hopefully it's not too, too bad. So you can be able to watch it. Oops, better. It's kind of hard to play because it's so flashy. Well, that's just good enough to a great start. Oh. No, 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 no. He's fine. He's just got a broken leg and a broken back. He's fine. Walk it off. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Right. 
I remember in the original arcade, if you, if you, um, you can actually shoot the, um, the hostage, and he explodes like in a rainbow color. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no. Oh, let's save him, save him, save him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. No, no. No, no. Uh, you little monkey. You sick little monkey. There I go. Finish the level. Did I get an extra life? No, 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 no. Ah, he got a... Oh, oh, he didn't like that. Oh, come on! I phased right through him! I, I really, I, I got him. Ooh, no. Yes! Another guy. I'll take you with me! Okay, I never saw that. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. This is... It's called Cat Attack, but it's Putan, Puyan. It's the one with the pigs and the wolves, where you shoot the wolves from, like they basically float down in balloons, and before, you're supposed to be a pig going down, shooting arrows on balloons and killing the wolves. This is, I believe, are supposed to be mice, or killing the cats that are going down balloons. Hopefully that explains everything. Oh, and I'm off to a great start. <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, hit the balloons. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. I love how the cat playfully... No, 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 no. Gotcha. Level two. Now it's going up. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. No, 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 no. No, not three cats. No, no. Come on. No, come on. Uh oh. Not on my watch! No!
Okay, made it. Is that a dog or a, a mouse? I don't think it's supposed to be a pig anymore. so well. No, no, no. Oh. Hey, not too bad. Level four. Uh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I didn't do too bad. Uh, I didn't do bad. So, the last game, oh, actually, two more games. I said I would do more homebrews or hacks. This is Space Invaders, or Space Invaders Second Wave. It's basically a skin uh, re-texturing of the characters, because the guy who did a jam cat, he did a lot of um, hacks. He decided he got bored of the normal look of Space Invaders and decided to hack it. And good for him. I love the uh, the squid one on the third row. Kind of reminds me of Cthulhu. Oh no 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 no! I don't think so. I don't think so. fell in that trap. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> I got these thumbs from Space Invaders. Oh, it was a fun game. A game? Close there, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, your guy. Hey, buddy. Buddy's your guy. The guy's your buddy. Oh. <laughs> That's fun. It's always fun. All right, last game. This is, and I'm not very good at it. Kaboom. So I decided, okay, first of all, before I start this game, I'm going to let you know that I picked up, finally, the Retron 77 console. So I haven't even opened it up from Amazon. I got this a couple of days ago. 
Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do an unboxing. There's probably lots of people who do this unboxing on other, when it first came out. I just got it. I don't know if there's anything changed about it. Um, I just haven't got around to it. Considering how many Atari games I play, it's a no-brainer for me to show you guys. I got a bunch of games right there. Would you want me to stream it? Like on YouTube, just, just chatting and streaming it? Or do you want an unbox? Or do you want a little of both? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. But let's play some Kaboom. So this has changed in the background. I actually went to a couple of videos of Kaboom to see the differences. The background is all different. Like the, the I guess the, the lines of like a sunset are kind of different. Like the sky. I think the character is different. The bomber. And I believe the little buckets are changed a bit. So I didn't know it was too much change because it's such a long time since I played Kaboom. So without further ado, let's play some Kaboom. I've been practicing a little bit. Of course it doesn't show. No, 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 no. I'm not moving my mouse, so I think my mouse needs to be replaced soon. But I will, I'm gonna try to, like, later on, maybe I'll get the commander for this thing. And I'll also play. Oh my god, I suck! I was playing a lot better earlier, of course. Duh. All right. So. Two, three, four, five, eight, one. Whew. So, yeah, some people actually play this game and they're like in a zone or like there's a focus so much you can't talk to them. Um, the Lazy Game Review's friend, um, I forget, Mike, his name is also Mike, <laughs> I can't remember the name. It's like I was watching a video about him and he just like, um, the angry video game nerd, I can't think of his name right now, I was looking at him, I was like, yeah, you can't talk to him. When he's in the zone for Kaboom, you just can't talk to him. He's like super into it. <sighs> it ain't easy. It ain't easy. It ain't easy. Yeah, yeah. But if you like this kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give me a thumbs down. Any feedback will be appreciative. If you like this kind of content, maybe consider subscribing. Until the next video, this is Mike. Signing off.